Tonight, police are on the spot after allegedly shooting dead the son of a man who owns Bob Mill mattresses at their home in Westlands here in our nation's capital. Witnesses say masked men believed to be police raided the home of the Asian businessman in unclear circumstances and shot his son in the chest before fleeing the scene. Steve Juma reports. At this palatial home, a few meters away from Peponi and General Madenge Road is where the son of the business mogul, Buntusha, was killed in cold blood by assailants at the comfort of his bedroom. The broken glasses at the scene an indicator of what transpired here in the wee hours. Friends, relatives and the Asian business community visited the home to condole with the family that is yet to understand the motive of the brutal murder of their kin. At about 3 a.m., witnesses say assailants dressed in police gear stormed the compound in an armored vehicle and three other vehicles bearing non-number plates. The assailants are said to have banged the main gate, injuring the guards in the process. It is the noise during the raid that woke up 32-year-old Bontisha, who is said to have peeped through the window only to be shot by one of the officers and was rushed to Mpisha where he was pronounced dead on arrival. They came in, broke up the squash court, I don't know what was the motive, went near the main window, started firing from there. Who shot first? Is your kin or you are? My, my Brother, my nephew, because he saw people in the compound, he shot first twice in the air to scare the thieves away. But apparently I don't think they were thieves. Banti was at home with his wife, his six-month-old boy, his mother and grandmother when the raid was staged by heavily armed officers. It is understood that a team from Parkland responded, but they were informed those inside were policemen on a special operation to conduct unspecified search. But when they realized they had shot someone, they all fled. It's a very high power rifle which was used. And uh, it, uh, the allege allegation is that these people were actually in military fatigue, you know, with helmets and so on. So whether they were thugs, whether they were who, but they, it is, they were properly dressed with military fatigue. And Banamatiang is saying the security for us to go and vote, even uh, two, three days before that, we are, to, to, we are really scared what is going to happen in another two, three days. So this is a very worrisome thing. I think uh, when a camera man, he, this is something to look like a, a grenade uh, accessory clip. clip eh? It seems it was not exploded because the clip is there. This was just found somewhere on the site here. There has been no concrete statement from the police after the Bengal raid. His father died 12 years ago, leaving Banti as the only son and his widow to run the multi-billion mattresses business located on Mombasa Road. Steve Juma, NTV.